it's been a long journey we have made over 10 to 12 videos like for the to do app i think we have covered most of our basic programming questions too like uh, what is like debugging mvc structures what is other uh, what is this console is how we can work on this and everything so this is like the basic things so moving forward i think it's pretty clear how we build this app and in the next video we will be starting with another app like it will be either an e-commerce app or we will be creating something else uh, as for our journey so in this video uh, let's cover this to do app to like how do we make what do we have taking the steps and why we are important right so as i told you we are following the mvc structure which is models v1 controllers and so let's rebuild let's check the dry run the code right so what is dry run as i told you it's like uh, getting the code again and again right also in the last videos we have discussed about types of error we have uh, there are two types of error which is compile time error and a runtime error and also can always like uh, we i give you why we differentiate both of them it is due to the like their benefits features right okay so let's move forward so one of the in this video i'll be focusing on uh, one uh, completing completely revisit this app how we created it second we have some variable the uh, differentiation of between some things which are like very important questions in interview so we'll be focusing on that too okay so let's do that so starting with revisiting right so which is home plus like from the main function everything starts from the main function then go to the run app and then go to the build right and we reach the home screen. so this is our home so we basically add the material app which is very necessary right now we can add the get navigation because uh, using the get x2 but we didn't there so we go to the home screen what home screen is home screen is nothing but a state for widget and it has a build feature also an edit feature as it is a stateful widget it has a home uh, controller we use this controller to connect the our model with the view file right as i told you in the last video so we have just get put so basically what get put does get put takes this controller and put these its instance to the home controller okay and after the putting the instance it all the properties or the behaviors or the parameters would be stored or used via this instance which is home controller we can use this home controller to either call functions either get the parameter values as i'm doing here and we can also get the call the functions okay uh, in the function controller what we have did in the controller is we have created two editing controller for the editing and the new task then we have created a tile data we have created a model which is tile so fundamentally as start from the model this is our model which has string uh, string types date time time and rule check and we have created an object which is tile data so this is called an object oriented programming language using the tile data we then use this model to create the elements right which is this styles to store the data because it has three things right it is checked or not then it has either its title and the time right it has three things so tile data it has a check time and text so using this model we can anytime create a check tile so that's what we are doing we created a get data function to uh, like uh, just to act as a api call or something like that and we call this function from our home screen as you can see so in it is what which is a function which is called as soon as the screen is start to create right and in it is done before the build method so basically anytime you call the init it will be called before the build function okay yeah so this is the controller and the model part clear after that we have moved forward to the scaffold we have some basic parameters set a background color floating action buttons and resize about right so then we have created the floating action button as we can see we have created a um, custom function for that and floating action button has nothing but a as you use this widget it will automatically create this button and on the on press we have added the dialog which because we want something like this dialog is uh, nothing but uh, a pop up which comes on the like your main display and it will be over the other display so it, that's why it's called overlays or dialog alert box and stuff right we use the alert box which is a default function for the flutter it includes like text to add this so here from here we can add the task in it right new task in it what we have achieved with that okay so that's the basic of that after that we have added the custom app bar we can move forward the custom app bar this is our custom app bar it has nothing but just the title center title boolean check and the background color okay finally we move forward to our main body which has two like this tertiary operator which signifies 
if the tile data is empty it will show no task here otherwise it will show the task list so if i just delete all the elements it will show the no task here right so this condition only uh, gets true when the elements are zero so this is very useful and it will be used like very often after that we have our have our reorderable list view why we use the reorderable list view because we want the feature of reordering by drag and drop that's very unique feature and it's like very you right after that we have our something parameters which is we don't want to scroll it we don't want to screen grab it and everything then on reorder what we have to do that's what we done in this function so on uh, this is like bit of a coding which is a swap so on read right, what we do is uh, change the ith element from the jth element okay and on the basis of the index then we have basic builders and we create the checkbox tiles it is you to uh, just an ui element for this right okay so that's how we did it and uh, that's the basic also on the editing part we have created the slidable if you can see we we'll go to the checkbox tab and in the slidable action i can show you the edit task and what it does is the show dialogs of the edit text and you can edit from there right so we can just drag and drop here and we can just use the edit button to edit the task okay or either you can just drag and delete the button we use the slidables to sl make this feature of sliding feature yeah so that's it so that's it for the to do yeah i think pretty much clear uh, let's move forward to what i think uh, telling you the basics of like variables and declarations or types and everything so from the start you will see you will be confused like what is main function and what is runner function right you will be thinking what it is right so basically what is main function is main function is the first line from where the compiler will start to run as you can see we have run debug and profiles thing and i'll let you know what is run this in the further video so main function is nothing but the first line the compiler will start looking from right so that's the main function after that we have run app so basically what run app is is as the name suggests which runs the app it will take all the dependencies it will do this it will set set up the widget tree right flutter will based on the widget tree uh, if you don't know about the widget tree we will be discussing in the future videos and you will get the proper idea let's me show you widget tree okay just a glimpse not a exact widget tree so this is our widget tree you can see we have root then my app that material home home screen scaffold padding so every widget is in a tree right so if you know the tree hierarchy it will be like under it under it like just like a tree right branch to branch to branch right right so that's the hierarchy we are on so it starts the runner function starts the run, uh, widget tree which is a root as i showed you in that so that's the basic difference in that after that you will also see one of the very useful which is final you always notice i am adding final page right final and stuff right if i go back to the home screen here is my home screen okay and also const so what is the difference between const and why we are using the finals and const okay as you can see we are const so const is very basic so let me give you an example if i just use const name and i just uh, give the string type to string and give the name as paragraph right okay we can just declare it over here let's declare it over here. so now now this name is fixed in the build time and cannot be changed so after that if i assign name rohan it will not let me because it cannot be assigned a value because it is modified a const if i just remove it it will work so what about the final it's still not working right so that's the main difference so if uh, that's the next most of a similar right now you will say it's both are similar so let me show you one thing okay so now you can see the difference const have to declare at the compile time final can be declared once after you know it uh, we when you don't know the value of the compiler right you can initialize it you cannot like you can initialize it without anything right so that's the one difference after that uh, anything inside a const is also a const so as you can see center has a child which is text so this means this is also a const so if i just put a variable here so let's play okay let me put a variable okay do this okay dot dot text so is this a string it should be workable 
but invalid counts variable as soon as i remove this it will work right so that's the main difference you are the anything in under the collection of the const is also a const right okay also there's a, some more terms you will be seeing there here and there which is like where so if i assign where okay to a name right again let's go with the name and let's assign this name to part and let's do one more thing dynamic name part okay okay let's do the name too. okay so that's the thing. so this both are variables we, you know, they, we didn't specify any data type here but dynamic is a data type so what we you can achieve is you can do name to one you cannot do this but if you you do this you can do this because dynamic itself a data type and dynamic can hold any type of value and when the name where as soon as you give it the string it will change to string so now name is a string right you can see as even i assign the where it's now a string and it cannot take any integer as well okay so that's the basic it was very important in the interview questions and this is called like used to so many times so many times so be aware of that okay so that's it so in the next video we'll be starting with a new app i think a new app or something new project so looking forward to it thank you have a nice day bye